The latest Simpsons prediction for 2024 is downright terrifying. In a Simpsons episode, a zombie apocalypse overtakes the city of Springfield in 2024. The zombie apocalypse starts at a burger joint called Burger Squared. These burgers cause anyone who eats them to turn into a zombie capable of infecting others. While this may seem far-fetched and unlikely to happen in real life, it's not too far off from reality. In fact, from the 1980s until now, people have been getting infected by mad cow disease, which is caused by feeding cow meat to other cows, and then humans consuming that meat, exactly what the Burger Squared cows in The Simpsons were eating. The real mad cow disease has actually caused a zombie-like state in patients until their eventual death. Also, the recent outbreak of deer-wasting disease creates zombie-like deer that may act violently towards humans. What's even scarier is that scientists believe the wasting disease could spread to humans. Lil Nas X just never gets tired of mocking Christ. He went ahead and made a tweet 12 hours ago saying, my new single is dedicated to the man who had the greatest comeback of all time, Jay Christ. If you take a look at the picture, he is on the cross and he is referring to himself as the greatest man of all time. He is referring to himself as God. He is referring to himself as Jesus Christ. Not only did he just disrespect Jesus Christ and mock God, he's fooled millions of people into believing that he's going to change and give his life to Christ and expose the music industry just for the sake of promoting his new single. I guess dancing on the devil wasn't enough. And I'm not worried about adults and teenagers. What about the kids? Kids are seeing this at a young age. What do you think they're going to start thinking? And that's the type of people they're targeting because the kids are the future. And once they get the kids, they get the future. Your kids are going to start acting like this. They're going to start being influenced by this. They're going to start looking up to this. Wake up. Peace and love to y'all. Follow me for more content. What's good, YouTube? I ain't gonna hold you up. We about to get into some of these creepy TikTok videos that's just floating around online. It's for entertainment purposes only. Let's get into it. Okay, y'all. I'm not trying to alarm you, but it looks like something is going down. Because this is the Red Sea in between Sudan and Saudi Arabia. And there is a whole bunch of ships on that Red Sea. So what is going on, you guys, right? Not to mention, this just happened today. 10,000 U.S. Army troops were deployed into Saudi Arabia airspace. What is going on? What is the United States preparing for? What are we not being told? I mean, we hear talks of war, but um, how come the president hasn't come on television and said, you know, we have deployed 10,000 U.S. soldiers to Saudi Arabia? What is going on? And don't forget you guys we are literally in an election year so there's a lot of things up in the air right now a lot of things including world war three you know whenever there's an election year they always want to pull some type of stunt on us and keep try to people try to put people in fear but you already know what this is this is a spiritual war this is literally a spiritual war i don't know what they're getting ready for but yeah we're keeping keeping you guys in the loop and letting you guys know what's going on because um uh the media is not telling us nothing about this they're, they're doing this at night right they're being secretive about this why are you not telling the country what's going on with everybody else that's part of the country it's weird y'all it's getting weird all right all right so again this video is for entertainment and educational purposes only i am only raising awareness to interesting situations and this right now is very interesting do you guys know what's going on with the army and the Saudi Arabia and all those ships on top of the Red Sea? Please let us know down in your comments. Let us know in the comments if you got any clue about what's going on with that. Let's get into another one. Okay, now check this out. These huge cylindrical things are just sitting in the sky. They look like they're making an imprint, right? Even though the sky is being messed with, y'all see that right you see all those lines those frequency and check this one out this looks like an alien this looks like a gray alien look look at the eyes look at the eyes right there in the teeth why does that look like teeth y'all do you see that 
Why does it look like teeth? And then look at this. Here goes eyes right there. Y'all see that? Look at that. Look at the teeth. Why does it look like that? It's like something is sitting there, hovering there, and just cycling energy. Right? Do you see that? This one was in Summerfield, Florida. Another huge cylindrical item just sitting in the clouds, making an imprint. And then again, the sky. Why is the sky like that, y'all? Why is the sky like that? We've never seen things like this before. Why is the sky like that? Check it out. Check that does look pretty weird. If y'all got a clue, or if you're from Florida, or if you live in Florida and you got a clue what that is, or you've seen that before, drop it down in the comments below. I'm curious to know what you think about that. Let's get into some other stuff. Black girl luxury is out. Why? Hey girlies, let's chat. My name is Jaira. I am a part-time attorney and entrepreneur, full-time fashion girly, but let's get into this. Basically the video is talking about how black girl luxury is out. We went to the pandemic, had to stay inside, came back out, spent too much money, and now we're realizing we were spending too much money. Let me say this disclaimer. I'm actually a little nervous to make this video because I kind of feel like folks might try to eat me up for this opinion, but I am gonna say what I have to say. I absolutely hated black girl luxury. Let me tell you why. At first I thought it was cute. It was black women just showing that they could enjoy things and like things and it was fun, it was lighthearted. But then y'all got real mean and exclusive and capitalist and just nasty. You got fake bougie. And overall, it just turned real, those type of people-ish real fast. It was genuinely disappointing to see y'all try to exclude other black women from the movement when it's supposed to be about black women finding things that they enjoy that's luxurious to them. Let me be clear, before y'all get started, I am a black woman who enjoys very nice things. I love things. I come from modest beginnings. My parents did everything that they could to get me and my sister to where we are. They ate that. Now we're all eating. But I could never be like that. And it's really ugly to see people get on this internet, Beyonce Giselle Noble's internet, and act like that. She's a capitalist too, by the way. But yeah, y'all took the black girl luxury thing too far. You got real mean, so I'm happy to see you leaving. I also could talk about the fake bougie thing for a long minute because the feminine coaches and the etiquette coaches and all that stuff, it got real weird real fast. But I'm not gonna share too much of my true opinions on the internet. So anyway, let me know what you think of Black Girl Luxury being on the outs in the comments. Will 2024 be the year of exposure? I wanna talk about exposure. We're starting to see things come to light. You see, nothing in the darkness can stay hidden in the darkness. It will come to light. You're starting to see things like T.D. Jakes, Pimp Daddy, Puff Daddy, whatever, Pimp, whatever, Puffy, Combs, whatever his name is. You're starting to see that. I believe you're going to start seeing a lot of stuff come out about Joe Biden um, from his own party. They want to get rid of him. I don't believe there will be a an election. They will sabotage that because they already know who will win it. I'm not a fan of Donald J. Trump. I never have been. I'm not a fan of any man. I'm a fan of Jesus Christ. However, if you look at the man's policies, he did a great job. It's his mouth that he wouldn't shut up that really turned people off. But I think we miss Donald Trump his policies uh, but I think also he will be exposed for a lot of things I think he already has he's been scrutinized since day one uh, again not a fan of him nor Biden I'm not a fan of any man I'm a fan of Christ and folks we need to bring Christ back to our homes to our workplaces, to our schools, and our churches, sadly. <sighs> Woo! I'm going through it, bitch. I'm losing my motherfucking medulla.